boy Eric here back with another quick video on Grubhub. So I got the question um, whether or not it's a good idea to work full time with uh, for Grubhub. So I wanted to just give you guys uh, my take on it and some pros and cons. So here we go. So one pro is that you know you work on your own with little to no supervision because you are an independent contractor. So you don't have a boss like on your back and all that good stuff. The con is that as an independent contractor, you, know, you don't get any benefits. So you get no health insurance, no vacation time, no benefits at all because you're an independent contractor. You also have to pay your own taxes. So Grubhub is going to give you a 1099 form at the end of the year and you either pay your taxes at the end of the year or you set up a quarterly schedule with an accountant where you're paying uh, your taxes throughout the year that way. You also really have no advancement opportunities. So uh, there's, no way to, there's no way to grow. So you know, at a regular job, you, know, you may be able to, to be a supervisor or a senior rep or something like that. With this, you're essentially just always going to be a driver. Um, you have the flexibility of working on whatever shifts you feel whatever week. The con is you have to grab that shift weekly. And depending on the, the market that you're in and the amount of you know, drivers looking to work this, you know, similar shifts, it can be hard for you to grab that particular shift for shifts that you want each week. Um, so, you know, chances are some weeks you, you may not be able to grab, let's say, 40 hours total. You know, you may come up a little short just because the amount of drivers that's in your market and uh, who are looking to work the similar time as you. Um, another pro is that they pay weekly. Every Thursday, so today, I got, um, I got a check, not a check, I got a direct deposit from them today. Um, so that's, that's awesome. Um, the con is your paychecks will differ each week because your paycheck is really depending on you know how many tips you got how many deliveries you made how many tips you got and whether or not you got any hourly guarantees so you know some weeks are going to be great some weeks are, are, are not going to be that great so you have to keep that in mind as well um, in summary yeah yeah I think you could definitely work full-time you know just yeah, you know, if if for you the, the 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 pros outweigh the cons, then definitely go for it. For me personally, it wouldn't work. Um, I definitely want benefits. I have a son, so I definitely want to have some some kind of a benefits there. Yeah, you know, health insurance, some vacation time, um, and and probably the main reason is I just wouldn't be able to make enough money. There's not enough money in making deliveries to sustain you know, any sort of a lifestyle for me personally. Like, that's my personal opinion. Like, it's for you to work that full time, it's, it's difficult. Because once you've taken out all your expenses, especially for me, if I'm taking out all my expenses for my car, you know, everything else, then it really is leaving me at, at minimum wage or even sometimes below that. So let me know what your comments are. Let me know what you think about the whole thing. Uh, leave your comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, thanks for checking out the video and, and have a great day.